On the 1st of February 1861, Texas seceded from the United States after a convention of representatives voted overwhelmingly in favour. Welcome to History Pod. Soon after it became clear that Abraham Lincoln would be elected the new President of the United States, pressure began to mount on Texan lawmakers to call a convention to discuss secession. While Governor Sam Houston resisted these calls, South Carolina's secession in December 1860 encouraged the Chief Justice Roberts of the Texas Supreme Court, alongside others, to independently announce elections for a secession convention. Despite attempts to challenge its legality, the convention proceeded after the Texas legislature validated it in mid-January. Unionists were largely absent from the elections to the resulting convention, and consequently there were a large number of pro-secessionist delegates. These elected representatives assembled in Austin on January 28, 1861, and on the 1st of February, the convention voted 166 to 8 in favour of secession. The decision was confirmed through a statewide referendum on the 23rd of February. The Ordinance of Secession was followed by a second document expressing the reasons for the decision to sever ties with the Union. Alongside criticisms of the government's inability to prevent Indian attacks and acts of banditry, it explicitly stated concerns related to the federal government's perceived encroachment on the rights of slaveholding states. Texas's secession aligned with a broader southern sentiment and mirrored the actions of other states that broke away to form the Confederate States of America. Nevertheless, Sam Houston refused to swear an oath of loyalty to the Confederacy and was deposed from office and replaced by Edward Clark. 